Supporters call it a lifesaver. They say a bill signed into law today will prevent shooting deaths. The red flag law will allow a judge to order guns be taken from people deemed to danger themselves or others. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, on that story at the Capitol. Sean, intense debate followed this one all the way through. Yeah, and Jim, the debate is done here, but it is just beginning across the state as county commissions and sheriffs promise lawsuits. Nearly half of the state sheriffs oppose this bill. Some say they won't enforce it, but supporters say they're confident it will survive legal challenges and save lives. As Governor Polis signed the bill into law, a wave of emotion washed over Representative Tom Sullivan. I, I struggle with the price that we paid to get where we are today. His son Alex killed in the Aurora theater shooting. Colorado has endured uh, more than our fair share of, of tragedies. But supporters say it is the death of Douglas County Sheriff's Deputy Zachary Parrish that best illustrates the need for the law. He was shot and killed by a man with a history of mental instability and guns. And it could have been averted if we had the ability that this law will give law enforcement to intervene on those extreme cases. Douglas County Sheriff Tony Spurlock backed the bill despite threats of a recall, and even as his own county commissioners passed a resolution opposing it, along with more than two dozen other county commissions and sheriffs across the state. We are a state in a country that counts on officials to uphold the rule of law. Representative Alec Garnett said the law stood the test of constitutionality in other states and with Colorado's attorney general. Sullivan hoped it would spare others his pain. 351 Fridays since Alex was murdered. Believe me, I know how important this is. Opponents say the law is unconstitutional because it allows a person's property, their guns, to be seized when they're not accused of a crime and without a hearing. The law doesn't take effect until January 1st to give the courts and attorney general and local law enforcement time to come up with the policies and procedures for how it'll work. Fourteen other states do have similar laws in place. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. It is going to be complicated. Sean, thanks. Tonight